How much is this one? This one, 350. 350? For yes. one? Yes. Wow. The Siamese fighting fish, commonly known as the betta fish, is now one of the most popular pet fish thanks to its vibrant colors and low maintenance. Unlike other freshwater fish, the betta does not need an oxygen pump in an aquarium to survive. However, one of the downsides for keeping the fish is that they cannot be housed in the same tank with other betta fish, or they will fight each other to death, hence living up to its name, Siamese fighting fish. Although the fish can be found in the wild, human bred betta are deemed far more attractive. The most common ones are those with long tails and big fins, called half moon, and the short tailed ones, called half moon plakat or HMPK. Betta fish produced by local breeders are generally more expensive than the ones you find in pet shops. The local breeders call them reject grade or pet grade. A part time betta breeder, DK Joseph tells us more. Kenapa banyak orang suka ikan laga? Because dia biar warna. After that, satu lagi dia biar advantage tapai oksigen. So senang dijaga. Uh, ada empat jenis kategori lah. Reject, pet, pet grade, show grade, and com grade. Com grade ialah harga yang paling tinggi lah sekarang. Because ini com grade ialah Kenapa panggil com wet? Because it's the competition wet. Boleh bawa pergi enjoy pertandingannya. One competition grade betta fish can go up to hundreds of ringgit in price, and a fish that has won a competition could go up to thousands of ringgit. A betta fish competition is the climax of the betta keeping hobby in Malaysia. Although betta is named the fighting fish, betta fish competitions in Malaysia is not about putting the fish together to fight to its death. Over here, the competitions are all about quality tests, where betta players put out their best fish to vie for the grand champion title. Taking part in a competition is the peak of a betta player's hobby, and winning is a bonus. In a betta fish competition, the fish will be placed in separate tanks and judged by the conditions of their fins, health, activeness, and colors. A judge will use a flare stick, which is a stick with a mirror attached at the end, to show a fish its own reflection so that it will flare in response to its image, thinking it is readying for a fight with another. Masa competition, judge yala be tingo for the finish lah. Satu finish, satu color. Ah, uh, finish contohnya dosa, powder, inner, winter, sama ikan flat atau tidak, sihat atau tidak. Sama dia biar swimming aktif tidak, uh, semua judge overall tinggal juga lah di bar. Betta fish competition is the most important part of the business, as it determines the price of the fish. A high quality betta is a fish that has won prizes or fish that are qualified to enter competitions. Another fish breeder in Sandakan, Arwandi Kalai, says that betta fish prizes increase multiple fold when it enters a competition. Harga ikan ditentukan rata-ratanya kalau bagi saya lah uh, 90% dia bukan saja daripada uh, untuk diternak sebagai pet grade tapi uh, ia dinilai dari segi uh, Ikan itu dimasukkan ke pertandingan. So, di situ harga ikan akan melonjak naik. Bagi kami, Brida, uh, pentingnya ada pertandingan. Uh, di situ kita boleh tentukan harga-harga ikan. Uh, Rata-ratanya peminat ikan laga ini, uh, selain ikut competition, uh, mereka akan ada ikan-ikan yang kita boleh kategorikan sebagai pet grab. Sebab bila kita fikir balik, kita beli ikan laga sebesar uh, ibu jari yang berharga Rp7,800. Ada yang sampai ribuan ringgit. So, bagi saya lah, no point. No point untuk kita beli tanpa adanya competition. Kalau setakat mau beli untuk pet grade, untuk kita jaga di rumah. However, the betta keeping hobby is not only about betta competition and expensive fish. 
betas can be great pet too. Betta fish is also a popular option for a child's first pet before parents opt for furry animals, which need more time and attention. Being just thumb-sized makes it even a more obvious choice as pets as it only takes up a small space in the house. Many people have the misconception that a betta fish has a short lifespan and dies easily. But a betta fish can actually live up to 5 years in captivity. I want to share tips to properly care for the fish so that it can live longer. Salah satunya kalau kalau ada newbie, ya, orang yang baru 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 betina dalam ikan laga ni, dia dia ada keinginan mau ambil sebab ikan laga tu cantik, tapi dia secara tidak sedar tidak terfikir cara penjagaan yang betul. Contoh dari satu satu sebab ialah air. So di situ saya rasa banyak yang pemula-pemula uh, yang gagal. Lah. Sepatutnya uh, contoh yang paling kecil lah uh, air perlu bebas selain pada klorin, makan yang cukup. Maksudnya rutin rutin harian penjagaan tu cara makan cara bagi makan ikan. Sebab biar berbeza dengan ikan ikan yang lain tidak boleh terlalu banyak makan. Betta owners are advised to feed their fish no more than three times a day if given in a small amount, and they could exercise their fish by making it flare for about two minutes a day. Just show the fish its own reflection with a mirror or another fish in an adjacent tank. If you have more than one betta fish, betta breeders advise to put a barrier or screen in between the tanks to avoid tiring the fish from constant flaring. This is Rebecca Chong reporting for The Vibes.